seven biggest mistakes in the last 10 NFL drafts. Number seven, the Cleveland Browns. In 2018, they had the number one overall pick. There were two elite quarterbacks available, Josh Allen and Baker Mayfield. Baker wasn't even expected to be a number one pick, so nobody expected the Browns to take him. People thought they would take Josh Allen, who had a stronger arm, was faster, had more potential. But the Browns shocked everybody. They drafted Baker Mayfield, making the worst decision in franchise history. Even LeBron James, a loyal Browns fan, was shocked after they took Baker. All of Cleveland was shocked. So what happened next? Baker Mayfield became one of the biggest busts in NFL history. He's not even on the team anymore. And the team he's on now, he's still playing bad. What about Josh Allen? He's a top three quarterback in the league, always in the MVP conversation. He took a struggling Bills and made them Super Bowl contenders. With his talent, he could have done the same thing for the Browns. Josh Allen, Nick Chubb, and Omari Cooper on the same team would have been unstoppable. But the Browns just didn't like Josh Allen. Boo Cleveland, boo! Your fans deserve better! Number six, the Chicago Bears. In 2017, they had the second overall pick. Miles Garrett goes number one overall, and the Bears are on the clock. They need a quarterback. And it comes down to two options, Mitch Trubisky or Patrick Mahomes. Even Deshaun Watson was a possibility, but the Bears didn't like Watson, so bye Deshaun. The obvious pick here is Mahomes. He had the arm strength of Brett Favre. He was super athletic and deadly accurate. But what did the genius Bears do? They said Mahomes is too risky. We want a safe quarterback like Trubisky. A safe quarterback? When has having a safe quarterback ever won a Super Bowl? It's like saying Mahomes has too much talent. Let's take someone more normal like Mitch Trubisky. Pure stupidity. And what happened? Mitch Trubisky became a bust, and he's now a backup on a different team. And Mahomes? Well, in five seasons, he's won two Super Bowls, two MVPs, and two Super Bowl MVPs. If the Bears drafted Mahomes, they would have had an incredible offense along with the best defense in the league. Way to go, Bears! Numero five, the New England Patriots. Yeah, even the Patriots make mistakes. And this was a bad one. In 2018, they had the 31st overall pick. It was an absolute shock that Lamar Jackson was still available. He was supposed to be a top 10 pick, and here he was available to the Patriots. The Patriots knew Brady only had two more years, so they needed somebody to replace him. It made perfect sense. Lamar Jackson, the future MVP, was right there. The perfect replacement from one franchise quarterback to another. And what did the Patriots do? They said nah. Maybe the Patriots trusted Jimmy Garoppolo. No, he wasn't on the team at the time. Their best quarterback after Tom Brady was Brian Hoyer. Who stinks? Lamar was the obvious pick, but the Patriots decided we don't like Lamar Jackson. We like someone else. Was it another elite quarterback? Maybe an incredible defense and wrong! They took Sony Michelle, the most average running back of all time. If you go to the dictionary and type average, you will find Sony Michelle. And now the Patriots are stuck being an average team because they don't have a good quarterback. This was the biggest mistake in Patriots history. Number four, the Philadelphia Eagles. This is the stupidest decision so far in this video. It's 2020 and the Eagles have the 21st overall pick and they need a wide receiver. They have Jalen Hurts, a great O-line, a great defense, 
all they need is a wide receiver. And who's available? Justin Jefferson, who is currently the best wide receiver in the entire league. Now the Eagles are on the clock to make their selection. And Justin Jefferson is the obvious best player on the board. But Greg, maybe they didn't know he would be good. Everyone knew he would be good. The Eagles made a decision so bad that the other teams were laughing at them. With the 21st pick, instead of Justin Jefferson, they take Jalen Rieger, an absolutely horrible wide receiver who drops more balls than he catches. The Vikings, who had the next pick, couldn't believe it. Look at this. They are celebrating and laughing at the Eagles at the same time. And the very next pick, the Vikings take Justin Jefferson, who is now the future of their team. Moving on to the top three. Number three, the New York Giants. As a Giants fan, I almost stopped being a fan after seeing this. It's the 2020 draft and the Giants have the number four overall pick. There are two quarterbacks available, Tua Tailova and Justin Herbert. We needed a franchise quarterback, and this was one of the best quarterback classes in NFL history. Herbert is the riskier pick, Tua is the safe pick because he's so accurate, but his arm isn't as strong as Herbert. Both of these are franchise quarterbacks just waiting for the Giants to draft them. And who do the Giants pick? Justin Herbert? No. Tua? No. They take Andrew Thomas, an offensive lineman. What in the world? After going 3-9 and nine the previous season, they decided an offensive lineman was more important than a franchise quarterback. So how did Andrew Thomas turn out? Amazing. At getting oh. injured, he never plays. He's always hurt. So instead of those quarterbacks, we practically got nothing. Am I taking this one personally? Yes! Number two, the Green Bay Packers. Packers fans, close your eyes for this one. You'd probably have a couple more Super Bowls if this mistake didn't happen. It's 2016 and the Packers have a fifth round pick. They decide it's time to take a wide receiver. Guess who is still available? Tyreek Hill. The Packers are one wide receiver away from being a Super Bowl contender. They have Aaron Rodgers. Rogers, they have Devontae Adams. All they need is one more star. Why was Tyreek still available? Everyone underestimated him because he was short. He should have been a first round pick. But maybe the Packers are smarter than that. Maybe drafting the fastest player in NFL history in the fifth round would be worth the risk. But the Packers said nope. Tyreek is too small. So instead, they draft Trevor Davis. Never heard of him? Yeah, most people haven't because he was terrible. In five seasons, this guy had 16 catches. If I played for five seasons, I'd probably have more than 16 catches. If the Packers took Tyreek Hill, this would have been their offense in 2016. This team easily would have won the Super Bowl. Number one, wait, before number Number one, let me show you the honorable mention. The San Francisco 49ers. In 2013, the 49ers had a second round pick. They needed a tight end. There were two tight ends available, Vance McDonald and Travis Kelsey. Travis Kelsey was easily the better player. It was so obvious. So what stopped the 49ers from taking him? Travis Kelsey was sick during Pro Day. Pro Day is when you show off your skills and NFL scouts watch. He wasn't even injured. He probably had a stuffy nose and didn't want to get other people sick, so he stayed home. It's not like he tore his ACL, but the 49ers completely overreacted to Travis Kelsey getting sick. So they said, no, we don't want Kelsey. We want 
for Vance McDonald. Why are some teams so stupid? It's like if Patrick Mahomes got sick for one day and the Chiefs said, you know what? Let's release him. We need a new quarterback. So the 49ers draft Vance McDonald. And how did he do? Bad. He played bad on the 49ers. Then he went to the Steelers and he played bad on the Steelers. Today, he's not even in the NFL. Get smarter, Sam Francisco! And number one, the biggest mistake of the last 10 drafts. Who else but the Cincinnati Bengals? This is so embarrassingly bad. In 2017, the Bengals had the number nine overall pick. This is before the Joe Burrow era. Mahomes is still available, miraculously. This is a gift from the football gods to finally turn the Bengals franchise around. But the Bengals, who literally had no quarterback, said no. We want a wide receiver, not Patrick Mahomes. But it gets worse! Fine, you want a wide receiver? At least we have Cooper Cup still available. A future Hall of Famer and the best wide receiver in the draft. But the Bengals said nope! We don't want Cooper Cup either! He's too slow! We want someone faster! So instead of Mahomes and instead of Cooper Cup, the Bengals drafted John Ross. An absolutely terrible wide receiver who immediately was a bust and is no longer in the NFL. 